And in this video, I will give a quick review about the SiteGround hosting plan. And they have a couple of different plans available. So in this video, I will elaborate on the SiteGround startup plan, which is the smallest plan. How you can see the SiteGround plans is as follows. You can over here, I'm over at my website, websitelearninglab.com. You can go to web hosting and you can click on this blue button, visit SiteGround. You can see this page and if you scroll down you can see the web hosting plans that they have available another way to do this is if you go to google and you just go to website learninglab.com forward slash site ground and you hit enter let's see the different hosting plans you see you have three options the startup plan the grow big plan and the go geek and in this tutorial i want to elaborate on the first option the startup plan you can see over here it's uh uh, offered with a discount of 80% so in that case it's 2 euro and 49 cents per month and that's discounted from 12 euros and 99 cents per month excluded the VAT it's a very good price especially for the first uh, term that you uh, use it with the 80% discount and after that then the, the cost for this plan are 12 euro and 99 cents per month so that's also still a very good price now let's uh, see what this plan has to offer over here you can see that for this plan you can use one website on this plan so if you want to have multiple websites then this plan is not the best option for you then you have to consider the grow big plan or even the go geek plan if you have just one website and that's the only thing you want to host then this is a good option you can see that this plan has 10 gigabytes of web space to offer which is quite a lot for one website so that's perfect you have about 10,000 visits monthly. As you can see, this, uh, this is an approximate estimate of the maximum numbers of website visits that can be handled by this hosting plan. You have unmetered traffic. There's no limit on your data transfer. You have free SSL included. All hosting plans include Let's Encrypt standard and wildcard SSL certificates at no extra cost. The standard SSL comes pre-installed on your website. It's very easy to install an SSL certificate basically what it does is it makes sure that you have this secure padlock inside of your browser if your website doesn't have the secure icon then it's not safe for visitors if somebody wants to go to your website they will see a notification that the website might be insecure that scares off visitors so you definitely don't want that so always make sure you have the ssl certificate installed with SiteGround. that's done in a few simple clicks as i have also showed in other tutorials you can see over here a daily backup is included so get a free cdn service at SiteGround. The CDN tremendously speeds up your page load time for visitors from different geographical locations. In order to speed up the delivery of a page, it caches its content on multiple services across the globe and serves it to the visitor from their nearest location. You have a free email included and what's good to know about SiteGround is you can add multiple email addresses to your domain name. So let's say for example my uh, website is websitelearninglab.com then I can create an email address for info at websitelearninglab.com but I can also create a second email address basically you can add as many emails as you want to you have enhanced security that's especially good to know because you definitely don't want your website to be hacked or whatever so it's always a good thing to have enhanced security e-commerce is enabled so if you are planning to build an e-commerce uh, store then with SiteGrounds, that's a perfect fit. You have a managed WordPress. So basically what it does is install WordPress in just a few simple clicks. So it's very easy to do within a couple of seconds. Out of the box caching. Uh, all those sites are hosted on our service. Can take advantage of our unique super cacher technology. NGINX based static and dynamic cache are enabled by default out of the box. Meme cache option is also available. Basically, the caching with SiteGround for your website is very good. And that also helps with the speed of the website and also the performance of it. You have unlimited databases. You have 100% renewable energy match. The main data center partner, Google Cloud, matches 100% the energy consumed by their global operations with renewable energy and maintain a commitment to carbon neutrality so if you are aware of the environment it's good to know that with SiteGround everything is good for the environment also 30 days money back and you can add collaborators you can add collaborators to your site who get their own SiteGround accounts 
an individual login to the site tools of your website and can build or maintain it for you. So they can also contact support for your site from their account. So basically, if you want multiple people involved uh, for your website, so they can uh, work on your website, design things and stuff, you can add them with separate accounts and they can work on your website as well. So that is the startup plan. What is also good to know is that if you want to have a quick compare of all the hosting plans, you can click on this link, compare hosting plans. And if you do that, then you can see the plans next to each other. You can see the prices, uh, you can see the buttons. So if you want to choose a plan, you can just do that by clicking on one of those buttons. But over here, you can see the essential features for all the plans next to each other. So you can compare things very easily. Over here, you can see exactly what all the options are that are included. So basically for the startup plan, you can see that this option is not available. It's also, uh, it's only for the Grow Big and the Go Geek plan, the 30% faster PHP, but also with the startup plan, the speed of the site, it's quite good. Another option that you don't have with the startup plan is the advanced on-demand backups. You don't have the option to make a backup on demand i don't know it's if that's a big deal because one backup per day is provided by siteground even with the startup plan but if you want to make multiple backups on the time that you wish then that's not available with the startup plan another thing is the advanced priority support uh, siteground support in general is very good also for the startup plan but with the go geek plan then you have premium support this option is not included for the startup and the grow big plan. You can see white label hosting and client management. You have free private DNS. This option is only for the Go Geek plan. And the last two are staging, premium staging that's included with the grow big plan and the Go Geek plan. What staging is, is staging is that you can make a copy of your website. It has its own URL. So let's say if you have a website and you want to change and adjust things, but you don't want to do that on the live website, then you can make a staging backup with a different URL. It's basically a copy of your website. Over there, you can do all the changes. And if everything is completely as you want it to be, then you can transfer the staging website over to the live website with just one click on a button. I've also explained it in other tutorials. So that's a helpful future, but you don't have that with the startup plan, but you do have it with the Grow Big and the Go Geek plan. And the last option that you don't have with the startup plan as well as for the Grow Big plan is pre-installed Git or GIT. If you want to know everything about it, you can see what it is over here. That was basically everything you need to know about the SiteGround startup plan. If you want to choose it, click on this button. For the first term that you use for, you have the 80% discount. So my advice will be just select the term for at least a year. So then you have one year with 80% discount. And if you select the term for one month, then you have the discount for only one month. After that, the regular price will be charged. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you out and answer them or maybe even make a specific video about the topic. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on other videos that I will be uploading. And with that being said, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you back again in the next video.